Have you been wondering about the colors that I've been choosing and working with? Did I just guesstimate what the colors were? Is this actually RGB red? Is this an actual CMYK red? And yes, I'm using the swatches that are provided through Photoshop. And using these color swatches, I know I'm working with the pure hues that are available. And if you just hover over one of them, you can see how it'll tell you what the color actually is. Wondering how to get these colors added to your swatches? Well, let me show you how. Now remember, the swatches is a floating window, and all floating windows can be found at the top menu under Window, and this one is labeled Swatches. So when you click it, this menu will appear. And this is an awesome little digital palette that you start putting colors in that you feel comfortable working with or that you can see work well with other colors. And over time, you'll have a swatches menu that is full of color that you feel comfortable and confident putting into your pieces. So let's take a moment to understand our swatches menu and how to add or take away swatches. And it's pretty straightforward to work with. If you select any of the colors in the swatch menu, it'll become the current foreground color that you are now working with. So I just chose that blue and it became our current color. But let's say you want to start editing the swatches menu and adding your own colors to it. And to do that, we would have to choose the drop down menu. And to find it, it's in the corner of the swatches menu, but it's represented by three lines and an arrow pointing down. Now it's separated into different groups, but let's start from the top and work our way down. So if you click the new swatch, it'll add whatever color you currently have selected to your swatch menu. And then from here, these four change the visual appearance of your swatches menu. So right now I have small thumbnail selected, and you can see what it looks like when you select the other ones. Now this is more personal preference, but I'm going to stick with the small thumbnail for now. And then from here, we have show recent colors selected. And when you click it, you can see how it disappears. So when I select it, it'll show it again. But that's only if you want your recent colors that you're working with in your piece to show up on a top bar above the swatches themselves. And the next thing that you should become pretty familiar with is your preset manager. And when you click it, you can see how it holds all of the colors currently available in your swatches. And from here, you can easily delete them. And you do that by just selecting and you can click delete on the keyboard. Or if you want to group them, you can click one, hold shift, and then click another one and it'll select all of the colors in between those two clicks. And let's say you wanted to delete this entire group, you could do that by just now selecting delete. But I'll keep them, but it's important to understand that you can quickly edit your preset manager here. And if you wanted to move them around, this would be the place to do it as well. And on the side, you can see it also says load or save set. Now let's go back to our menu here. You can see how it also has a load and a save. Now personally, I like going to the preset manager and saving them from here. So let's say we wanted to save our swatches. I would select them, all of them, and I would choose save set. And then from here, you can save them out to your desktop and they will save out as a .abr file. And you would do the same thing if you wanted to load a set of colors that you downloaded from the internet. But let's say you wanted some of the preset colors that are given to you from Photoshop. And you may have noticed that there's a lot available to you down here. So each of these represents a collection of swatches that you can add to your current swatches menu. So let's say we can click one and it'll give us the option of append, cancel, or okay. So if you choose okay, it'll replace the swatches you currently have in your swatches menu. But if you choose append, it'll add it to the menu. And now you can see how we added a whole bunch of colors and sometimes this can be overwhelming when your swatches become too much. So let's go through resetting your color swatches as well. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to that drop-down menu and you can see how there's an option that says reset swatches. So I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna replace the color swatches that are currently in the menu, so choose okay. And I'm not going to save the current swatches, so don't save. And that's how you add the default colors that Photoshop has available to you. So if you want to work in RGB or CMYK colors, they have them available just by resetting the swatches menu. And if you're ever curious on what colors you're actually working with, if you hover over them for just a second or two, it'll tell you this is RGB red, and the one below it is CMYK red. And that's how you can kind of distinguish your colors from one another. And then as you add them yourself, I would recommend naming them so you can remember why you chose those colors. So let's say I wanted to add our CG cookie green. I'm going to eyedropper tool the green that's on the top of the text 
and I'm going to go to this post-it note in my swatches menu and I'm going to click it. And when it does that, it's going to prompt me to answer what I want to name it. So I'm going to name it CG Cookie Green and choose OK. You can see how it's now added to our swatches menu and when I hover over it, it tells me the name.